Coming more and more common, authorities solving decades-old mysteries with the use of genetic genealogy. And this combines DNA data with traditional family tree-style genealogy. Fox Science Mary McGuire shows us how this technology helps authorities find answers. For more than 20 years, the name and identity of a woman found dead in Long Lake Regional Park has eluded authorities. But on Friday, she finally got her name back. Gail Marlene Johnson. It means a lot for us to really be able to bring some answers to the families. The Minnesota BCA was involved in responding to the initial crime scene in New Brighton after two teens discovered Johnson's body in a marshy wooded area in September 2000. Investigators weren't able to ID the victim back then, but as time went on, technology advanced. Throughout uh, several years, able to apply the technologies that we have here at the BCA to assist in at least generating some information from that individual so that she could be compared to other samples to try and identify her. Genetic genealogy proved to be the key in solving this mystery, a technique that combines DNA testing with traditional family tree style genealogy to track relationships and bloodlines. This summer, investigators partnered with Estrella Forensics to obtain a DNA profile. And from there, the nonprofit DNA Doe Project got to work. We take each match, build back their trees, and what we're looking for is common ancestors. They found a family connection. And from there, after 23 years, Johnson was identified. Right now, the Minnesota BCA says they are working on approximately 30 cases involving unidentified victims here in Minnesota. Those cases are constantly being reevaluated and reassessed as DNA technology advances. We never forget about the cases that remain unsolved across the state. BCA Superintendent Drew Evans says DNA testing is pivotal in solving cases like Gail's. Discovering her identity is the first step so that we can track back her life, what was going on with her at the time, and so we can really understand where to even begin the investigation. Over the next year, his agency is hiring additional DNA scientists with the hope of providing answers to more families across the state. Mary McGuire, Fox 9. Investigators weren't able to determine Johnson's cause of death, but they are calling those circumstances suspicious. Anyone with information on that case is asked to call the New Brighton police.